Hello everyone. In today's session, we're going to do a Western yoga practice. The ancient practice of yoga has many, many parts and one part is physical. And in that ancient part, the physical, the physical postures were mostly sitting. The more um, movement oriented physical practice of yoga is only from the 1920s and it incorporated a lot of uh, uh, Scandinavian and Western physical gymnastic movements into it. So just let's have that conversation for that's why I'm calling it Western yoga because it's mostly about from the 1920s on. And you will need some yoga blocks are great. I, two is great. I have more. Don't worry, we don't have that. Some towels are nice, a mat that has traction, and any kind of pad that you might need if you have uh, difficulty or uncomfortable with this being on your knee, feel free to use a pad here. We're going to start on our hands and knees, and right away, you can always fold up a towel under both palms so that your fingers can be lower than the palm, heel of the palm of your hand. You might find that more comfortable for yourself. Wrists under shoulders, hands, shoulders in support, knees under hips, spine nice and long. Toes can be whichever works best for you. Toenail side down is less aggressive for your knees. Toes curled under can be more aggressive, Take, but both have value. Breathing in. As you exhale, bring your chin to your chest, tail to your face, press the back of your body towards the sky, and press your hips back towards your heels. And I want to apologize as well. There might be some background construction noises that are out of my control. Stay back here. Take a deep breath in, relaxing your neck, relaxing your shoulders. Exhale, return forward to where you came from, reach the crown of the forward, lift your tail up a bit. And again, that's all you do. Exhale, chin to chest, bring your tailbone towards your breastbone, press the back of your body up towards the sky behind you as you also sit back towards your heels, relaxing your shoulders. Stay here, take a deep breath in, relaxing your shoulders. Let the back of your neck release your head even further down if you can. Great. And exhale, pull your body forward and lengthen. Three more of those. Great job. Again, exhale, chin to chest, press back, curl, rounding your spine, relaxing your shoulders, rounding, curling. Stay there. Take a deep breath in, even though you're rounding your backbone. You got it. Exhale, turn forward. Two more. I'm going to change my toes. You don't have to. Exhale, chin to chest, tail to face, push back, curl, and round your spine. Going back only as far as your knees, of course, have comfort. Stay there. Take a deep breath in. And exhale to return forward. One more time, lengthening. Heart lifts up, forward and up. Again, exhale, chin to chest, tail to face. Push the back of your body towards the sky, rounding backwards. Exhale deeply. Stay back there. Take a deep breath in and keep rounding your backbone. Great, everyone. And exhale, return your body, lengthen forward. Now you're going to walk your hands over to one side. One hand may be on the mat, one hand may be off the mat. The hand that's off the mat may be closer to you. The hand that's on the mat may be further away. You're in a bit of a side bend here to start breathing in. And it's the same thing. Exhale, bring your chin to your chest, tail to your face, push the hips backwards in space, rounding back, go only as far as you have comfort. Stay here as you inhale, breathe into your torso, focus on the same side as hand that's on the mat, breathe into that side of your body, and exhale, return forward, lengthen your tail up, reach the crown of the head long, four more. Exhale, chin to chest, tail to face, push back in space, control, relaxing your shoulders. Stay back here, take a nice deep breath in, very good everyone. And exhale, return forward, lengthen your heart forward and up, tail lifts, you got it. Exhale, so you're in this side bending to go back. As you stay here, really inhale deep. Think of opening up those ribs like the pleats of an accordion, expanding. Great, everyone. And exhale, return forward, lengthen just two more here. Beautiful work. Again, exhale, chin to chest, tail to face. Push back, curl, rounding your spine, relaxing your shoulders. Stay back here. Take a deep inhale, stretching, open the side. Oh yeah, and exhale, come forward, reach the crown of the head up, tailbone lifts up, one more time, really good job. Exhale, chin to chest, tail to face, hips go back in space, curl and round. Great job there. Stay, take a deep breath and enjoy that stretching sensation, expand it. And exhale, bring your body forward. Now we're going to walk your hands across the other way. Now the other hand's off the mat, other hand is on, the hand that's off the mat may be a bit closer to you. Still shoulders over wrists, so you're not facing the front of your mat. You're letting your torso go over those hands. Same thing there. Exhale, press your hips back, chin to chest, tail to face, round your spine. Stay here. Breathe in the same side of your torso as hand that's on the mat with you. Open that side up. Yeah. And exhale, bring your body back forward, lengthening, breathing in. You got it. 
Exhale, chin to chest, tail to face, press the back of your ribs towards the sky behind you, curling. So as you go back, don't let the curl uncurl itself. Stay rounded as you inhale, expand. Beautiful. And exhale to return forward, lengthen. Nice, everyone. Breathing in. Three more. Exhale, chin to chest, tail to face, round your spine backwards. Stay back there. Take a nice breath in. You can think of pushing that floor away from gently and relax your shoulders. Great. Exhale to return. Forward. We'll have two more, I think. Exhale. I'm the worst at counting. I apologize. Exhale. Even though all I do for work is count all day long. Still not, the, not my best skill. Breathing in. Rounding that lower back. Really good, everyone. And exhale. Return your body forward. Lengthen. One more time. Excellent job. Again, chin to chest. Tail to face. Hips go back and curl. Rounding your spine. Really good job. Relaxing your shoulders. Big inhale. Very lovely. And exhale, return your body forward, lengthen, and then walk your hands back to center. Now, I'm going to use the blocks. The blocks are incredibly assistive here. You don't have to have actual yoga blocks. Anything that's sturdy and that can support your, um, uh, support you some. So it's not going to collapse. It's not dangerous to use. The higher the blocks go, it supports your body more because it gets you away from the floor, which is very assistive but they become more unstable. So the lower is more stable, doesn't move as much. The higher it goes, the more unstable. Just be aware of that. And the back toes, again, your choice. Inhale, hips go forward, chest goes up, arching your backbone. Easy, the knee goes forward, not off to the side. As you exhale, stretch the front knee, bring your forehead towards your kneecap. You can walk those blocks back with you if that, makes, if that is easier to support their posture. Straighten that front knee as much as you can. Front toes may not stay on the floor, the front heel does. Inhale, bend the front knee, hips go forward, chest goes up. The blocks are great here because they really help you arch your backbone a lot more than without them. Exhale, chin to chest, tail to face. Let your elbows bend here so you can fold your body over that front leg, rounding your spine, look towards your thigh bones. Great job. Again, hips go forward, bend the front knee, chest up, extend. Arching, big breath in, keep the back of that front heel bone on the floor. Good, everyone. Exhale, chin to chest, hips go back, round your spine, curl backwards. Really nice job. Beautiful, two more. Inhale, go forward, chest up, arch and extend. At the fullest range of your arch and hips go forward and down, you should be able to have more extension to your neck if you wanted that. So you're not going to the full end range of your neck there. Exhale, hips go back, chin to chest, tail to face around. Same thing here. You could bring your chin to your chest more if you really wanted to. It's just not quite your full range of motion. One more time. Hips go forward. So let your hips go forward and then let your heart lift forward. Up. You do lift your face and eyes, but it's not to the extreme end range for your neck. Everything else is pushing a lot as far as you have no pain or strain. Exhale, push back, round to Let those elbows bend, curl, fold over that front leg. Great job. Go forward, chest up, arch, and extend. Now stay here. The same side hand as that front bent knee. You're going to twist your body towards that leg. Let your heart and arm lift up, arching your spine. Keep those hips forward. And exhale to release and fold all the way down. So, as I twist up, eyes to ceiling is not the goal. Let your chest rise. Let your eyes look out to like where a wall would be. Looking towards your hand is really aggressive on your neck and doesn't actually help you twist your torso more. Exhale, fold all the way down. Forward. Again, it is not the safest place for your neck to be in. It's an extreme range and range of motion. Arch, rotate, expand. Make sure this front knee does not go out to the side. It just stays where it is. Exhale, fold all the way down. Three, two more. Hips just stay forward. Inhale, rotate, arch, and extend. Push the block down with that other arm. You got it. Exhale, fold it down. One more time. Great job. Inhale, twist, stretch up, open, expand, rise, reach. Good job, everyone. Exhale, fold all the way down. Really great job. And gently bring that knee down. Yeah. And then bring the other foot forward. And again, make sure that you're comfortable and you need to put this knee on a cushion. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Front foot is forward, knee bent. Hips go forward, chest goes up, arch your spine, extending a man. Make sure it's not an extreme end range of motion for your neck. Your neck could go further if it wanted to. Same thing when you go back. It does bring your chin to your chest, but it's not like you're jamming it down there. Do try and straighten this front knee as much as you can comfortably. Keep the front heel bone on the floor. That's all. Bend the front knee. Hips go forward. Chest one down. Chest goes forward. And up arch. Make sure this front knee goes forward, not off to the side. 
Keep the back of that front heel on the floor. Chin to chest, tail to face, exhaling. Curl back, diving over that leg. Beautiful work. Again, hips go forward and down. Chest goes forward and up. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Open, expand, arching your backbone. Good, everyone. Exhale, curl back, chin to chest, to the face, round your spine. You got it, three, beautiful. Again, hips go forward and down, heart goes forward and up, inhale, extend, let your eyes rise, just not to the nth degree, easy, you got it. Exhale, gently, let the elbows bend here, let your body fold, all the bit of leg, try and straighten that front knee, back toes can be, again, whatever works best for you, two more. Inhale, forward, up, open, extend, and arch. Reach those hips forward, keep the back of that front heel bone on the ground. Exhale, chin to chest, tail to face, curl back and round all over. I think we have one more to go. Is that what I just said? I can't remember. Inhale again, counting, not my thing, even though it's my job. Chest up, extend, arch, you got it. Exhale, easy, gently curl back and round, folding all the way over. Really good, here we go. Go forward, up, arch. Now we're gonna stay forward here. You're gonna twist your chest towards this front bent knee. Push the block down with the one you're standing on. Twist your heart up. Again, twist your arm. Let your heart lift your arm, not your neck and chin leading. And exhale, fold all the way down over that front leg as much as you can. Good job. Push the block down. Let your heart lift your arm. Your neck will follow. Make sure you're being gentle. Don't twist the most in your neck. And exhale, fold all the way down. Don't go to the end range. I got in your neck. Inhale, you know, you're able to twist your neck more if you wanted to. You're trying to twist your heart to the maximum. Breathe deeply. And exhale, fold all the way. And twisting your neck will not help you twist your heart much more. Three, two more. Again, inhale, even though it gives you the feeling that, oh, I'm twisting a lot, you're actually twisting your neck a lot more than your torso. And exhale, fold all the way down, too, so be aware of that. It's great to be able to distinguish those three separate parts of your body, your spine, right? Your lower back, your middle back, upper back, that's your end neck. Really great to distinguish those. I can't believe it's all over all the way down also. Great job. And then bring two knees down. You can push back and stretch here if you'd like. Really great job. Now, this next thing we're gonna do, if, you need a, if you'd like a cushion for your knees, that's great. You're gonna have one knee down and then the other foot forward. Move both blocks next to either side of your hips, right? Again, the back foot could be toes curled under. Toenail side down. Try not to make. The, try not to have the foot off to one side of the mat, or they're trying to have it right behind that knee directly. Now I'm going to lift the same side arm up as knee that's down. So it's the opposite arm to that front leg. Breathing in. I'm looking forward with my eyes and chest towards where my front knee is pointing. I'm going to side bend and reach my hand down towards the block. Keep your eyes away from the floor. Stretch up and over gently. Exhale. Great job. And then bring it back up nice and tall. It's a lot of balance, and you're welcome. Again, exhale, stretch up and over. Keep the hip over the knee as much as you can. Try not to let it go forward as you bend. Breathe deeply forward. Good, everyone. Return back up nice and tall. Take your time. Again, exhale, ear towards shoulder, shoulder away from the ear. Look away from the floor. See the horizon with your eyes and face. Stretch the arm long by your ear as much as you can. Three, great job. And then return, two more to go. Excellent work. Again, ear towards shoulder, shoulder away from the ear. Stretch over and lengthen to the side. Two, beautiful work, everyone. Uh huh. Inhale, all the way up, nice and tall. One more time. Again, ear towards shoulder, shoulder away from the ear. Stretch up and over, lengthen. Excellent job. You got it. Bring it up tall. Interlace your fingers, palms to the sky. Great job. Breathing in. Hips try not to press forward. Chest goes up, arms reach back. Back bend, extend gently. Again, be mindful of your neck. Your neck could go further if it wanted to. Again, it's not an extreme range of motion for your neck. Exhale, heart lifts up, arms press back. Extend gently, four. Nice, everyone. Inhale to right, it's a lot of balance. Take your time. Again, chest up, arms back. Open and reach, exhale deeply. Great job, everyone. Inhale to return, just two more there. Again, chest up, arms back. Relaxing your shoulders, breathing deeply too. Nice work. And return, one more time. Take a break, no big deal. You can always take a break. Heart lifts up, arms reach back. Exhaling, yeah, glorious. Return, keep your fingers interlaced, take your hands behind your head. Now, opposite elbow across to outer front knee. Fold and twist down. Try not to press your hips back or forward. Just rotate down. You're gonna only go as far as you have no pain or strain. You got it. Return to vertical, it's a lot of balance. And again, Exhale, bring the elbow across. 
to the outer front knee, folding down, take your time, four, you may not go all the way, no big deal, return. If I'm going too quick, take a slower tempo. If you're going quicker than I am, try to slow down if you can, three. This tempo is important, slower is okay, quicker is not the emphasis. That's a different emphasis you can do if you want to, just realize that you are choosing a different emphasis to than what this class is really trying to get across. One more time. Again, easy. Twist, fold down, and rotate. Exhaling, relaxing your shoulders. Really good, everyone. Nice work. See, over before you know it even began. Great job. I'm gonna switch those legs. Other knee down, other foot forward. All right. Again, make sure the front foot is in front of the front hip, back foot in front of the back hip. All right. Mm -hmm. You got it. Now, you're gonna reach the same side arm up as knee that's down. It's the opposite arm of the front leg. Look forward of your face and chest. Keep looking that direction. As you exhale, bring the ear towards the shoulder, shoulder towards the ear as you fold over to the side. So I'm bending to the same side of that front leg, looking away from the floor, and then slowly bring it up nice and tall vertical. That's a lot of balance there. As you exhale, ear towards shoulder, shoulder away from the ear on that same side that you're bending towards. Breathe deeply, four, nice everyone. Inhale, rise up nice and tall, you're doing great. Again, exhale, pad your knee up here. If what you feel is your knee, that means you may find more relief. Three, A, by uncurling the back toes. B, by having that knee on a pillow or cushion or something soft to elevate you off the floor, but to give that knee something softer to rest on. Breathe equally lengthen too. You can always take a break and return. Or you can also do it standing. Being on your knee is not everyone's joy. It's not everyone's, not in everyone's uh, wheelhouse or necessary. You got it. Bring it up nice and tall. Now you're going to your fingers the unnatural feeling way for you. Pops back. Again, try not to press the hips forward. Chest lifts up. Arms go back. Try not to sit back either. Extend. Oh, lots of balance there. And then return. Oh, so, so invigorating. Again, chest goes up. Arms go back. Extend. Really good. One, four. Take your time. Return. Again, be gentle to your neck. Your eyes and face do rise, but they go much further if they wanted to. You're lifting your heart more than your neck moving. Three. And then return. They're both moving. But try to put the emphasis on lifting your heart and back bending there and not back bending the extreme under range motion of your neck. Two. Be kind to your neck. One more time. Again, it does a lot of extension for most of us all day long. So why not try and not do so much when you actually are having an exercise practice? Hands behind your head from breathing in. Bring the opposite elbow to the outer front knee, fold it to a stem. And again, only go as far as your cover. Going all the way is not the goal. Balance is the focus. Inhale to return up nice and tall. Great job there. Again, same thing. Bring the elbow across to outer front knee, fold and twist down, relaxing your shoulders for your right other one. Inhale, bring it all the way up tall, vertical. Great. Again, exhale, twist, rotate, fold across and down. Breathing deeply three. Nice, other one. You got it. And then bring it all the way back up tall. Two more. Again, exhale, fold and rotate down across. Breathe deeply two. Excellent work. Bring it all the way back up, one more two, beautiful. Again, exhale deeply, fold, rotate across, be gentle, be kind to yourself, and you got it, great job. And then bring it all the way back up, you got it, and then bring the hands down, bring the knees down. Now, we're gonna take a second here to lay on our back. You can also just lay on your side and hug your knees to your chest. You can lay on your side in a fetal position, that's great as well. You can put a head, or a pillow, you put a head, yeah. That's not what I want. Put a pillow or a rolled up towel onto your head to give you some more support there. You can have your legs pressing together with your feet together. You can have your feet together, knees apart. You can have your knees apart, feet apart. Any of those options are working here. Wherever you are, just realize that you want to be comfortable. Now, grabbing onto your shins is the most common place to grab, but can be a kind of aggressive on your knees. So feel free to grab behind your thighs. A, that makes it easier on your knee joint because you're not involving it with putting pressure on it. <coughs> B, it brings your hands closer to you, which can bring a lot more comfort to your shoulder girdle. Easy breathe. Once you're here, try to realize that you're bending your elbows to pull your legs towards you. You're trying to relax your shoulders there. So what tends to happen is people's shoulders tend to come forward towards their breastbone or throat to the front of their body. Try and relax them. You don't need your shoulders to do that to pull your legs towards you. Instead, you can focus on bending your elbows here, and that feels really, really great. Just breathing. When you've had enough, you release one foot down, 
two feet down. Really great job. Let's take your arms wide apart here. Feet stay where they are. Let your knees twist to one side gently. Stay. Take a nice breath in. It's just a little rest. Beautiful, everyone. Exhale to return center. Inhale. Keep your feet where they are. Exhale. Feet stay. You twist and rotate. Easy breathe. There's many ways to twist. This is the way that we're doing it right now. Feel free to make different selections of options. That's fine. You got it. Breathing deeply. You got it. And then return center. Gently roll over to your side carefully to come out of there. You can always hit pause. I'm moving on. You can join us when you're ready. Now I'm going to bring, again, one foot forward to the front part of my back. Blocks are up on their highest level. Curl your back, toes under. Now, when I straighten this back knee and keep the front knee really bent, my hips try not to go much higher. They don't go way up there. That would be straightening my front knee too much. Keep that front knee really bent. Great job. Now, as you exhale, you're going to straighten your front leg here. Bring your chin to your chest, tail to your face, round your spine, forehead towards your kneecap, back heel bone reaches towards the floor, elbows bending, fold over that front leg, hips as square as possible. All those things. Isn't that nice? Then bend the front knee forward, lengthen the spine, reaching the crown of the head across the room. Inhale, great job. Again, chin to chest, tail to face, fold over the leg. Straighten as much as you can. Move those blocks back towards you more than you might like it a lot more. Let your elbows try and bend so you can drape over that front leg like wet laundry on a summer day. Inhale, bend the front knee, lengthen forward. Great job. Again, exhale, fold back and stretch over that front leg. Completely three. Nice, everyone, easy. Bend the front knee, lengthen forward, reach the crown of the head, two more. Keep that back leg reaching long. The back heel reaches down towards the floor here. You got it. As you bend the front knee, the back heel still reaches towards the floor behind you, but it has less option because it gets pulled forward reluctantly. One more. Exhale, chin to chest, tail to face, round your spine, back heel towards the floor. Try and straighten that front knee as much as you have no pain or strain. Really good. And then bend the front knee like the forward. Here we go. The front knee stays bent. Twisting your chest towards that front leg. Like reach the same side arm as that front. Bent knee out and up. Arching your spine like we did earlier. Again, we know it. Be kind to your neck. Looking to the ceiling is not the goal. Let your chest and arm rise. Keep that front knee bent. Back leg straight. And then you can fold all the way over that front leg. Oh, great. One more. Again, inhale. Will I remember how many more to go? That's a good question. Twist up. Push the block down. Extending arm. Arching. Opening. Great, everyone. And exhale, fold down to return four. Really good job. Again, twist your chest around the arching, back bending. Try not to let that front knee open out to the side. Easy arch. And then return three. As you back bend, you are going to find your chest coming away from that front thigh a lot. But try not to go so far back that you're leaning, uh, have a great deal of difference. Distance between that chest and thigh. All the way down to, so it peels away from the chest, from the thigh a little bit but not markedly. You stay in the realm of the mat. So try not to back bend so far that your chest and shoulder is out, outside of the line of the mat. And exhale, fold all the way down. That was really great. All right, here we go. Walk your hands up that front thigh. You thought we were done. You can be done. Keep your front knee bent. Arms to the sky. Straighten your front knee, reaching the back heel towards the floor. Relax your shoulders. Arms just reach up. Bend the front knee. Feel free to pull that back foot closer to you if it's just too intense. Again, straighten the front knee back or reach it down. The back knee is parallel facing forward. It's not rotated out. And bend the front knee forward. Relax your shoulders. Again, as you stretch the front leg, the back heel reaches towards the floor gently. You got it. Nice, everyone. And then return forward. Three. Beautiful. Again, stretch that front leg. Hips as square as possible. They won't be perfectly square. That's okay. Bend that front knee to one more time. You're doing great. Again, stretch that front knee. Really great job, everyone. Easy, nice work. And then bend it. Keep it bent. Interlace your fingers, palms to the sky. Keep the front knee bent. Easy. Chest up, arms back. Extend. Be kind to your neck. You got it. And then return. Beautiful work. Again, chest up. Keep the front knee bending. Front shin bone perpendicular to the floor if you can. Four. Keep the back of the front heel bone on the ground as well. Again. Easy, chest up, extend, arch your spine, three, really good job. Yes, lots of balance, Whew. and then return. Again, chest up, extend, arching, back bending, you got it, two, mm -hmm. and return, just one more to go. Again, stretch that back knee, bend the front knee, chest up, arch, extend, you got it. Return, hands to the block, Whew. back knee down, yeah, 
Two knees down. Take a break. It's okay. Other foot forward. Join me when you're ready. Curl the back, toes under. Keep the front knee back. Stretch the back leg long. You got it. Here we go. Straighten that front knee as much as you can. Walk the blocks back with you. That's fine. Bring your chin to your chest. Tail to your face. Forehead towards the kneecap. Elbows bending. Hips as square as possible. Bend the front knee forward. And lengthen out through the your head long. Breathing in. Good. Again, X. So keep the back leg long. Reach the back heel towards the floor. Stretch the front knee. Forehead toward the kneecap, folding over that leg. Good, everyone. Four. Nice work. Bend the front knee, lengthen forward. Inhale. Nice job. Again, stretch, fold all the way over. Take your time. Breathe deeply. Three. Tempo is important. Take the whole inhale to come forward, breathing in. Two more there. Again, exhale, stretch, fold back away from that front leg. Back, you're reaching down, back leg is parallel too, which means that knee tries to face as far forward as you can comfortably. One more time. Again, exhale, stretch the front leg, bend the elbows, fold around all the way over that front knee. Straightening, you got it. Went by too quick, I agree. Keep the front knee bent. Twist your chest towards the front, bent knee, lift the same side arm as front leg up. Twist your chest up, arch. Rotate your torso, bend the front knee, keep that back leg straight, arching your spine more than your neck. And exhale, drape your body over. Woo! Very good job. Again, inhale, lift up, twist, rotate, arch, and back bend. Good, everyone. Exhale, fold all the way down. Four. Nice work there. Inhale, twist up, arch, rotate, expand outwards. You got it. Exhale, fold all the way down. Three. Two more. Keep the front knee bent. Again, try not to back bend outside the edge of the mat. Arch and twist. You got it. Fold all the way down. Two. One more time. Straighten that back knee. Bend the front knee. Twist your chest up and arch. Oh, take a break if you need to. Fold all the way down. Walk your hands up that front thigh. Chest up, arms to the sky. Here we go. Straighten that front knee. Relax your shoulders. Straighten those elbows and bend. Feel free to bring that back foot closer in if it feels like it's too aggressive. Hips as square as possible. Straighten that front knee back. Feel reaching towards the floor. Bend the front knee four. Great job. Reach that back heel down as you stretch the front leg. Three. You got it. And then bend. Two more. Excellent job here. Stretch that front leg. Relaxing heels. You're doing really well. And then bend. Arms just reach up. One more time. Stretch the front knee. Back heel towards the floor. Back knee is parallel facing forward. Bend the front knee. Interlace your fingers. Stay a natural way for you. Palms up. Now keep that front knee bent. Chest up. Arms back. Back leg straight. Front knee bent. Be kind to your neck. And then return. Great job. Keep that front knee bending. Try and keep that front shin bone per perpendicular to the floor. Parallel would be impossible. Basically four. Again, chest up. Back bend. Extend gloriously. Good, everyone. Three. Hips as square as possible. Two more. Again, inhale. Extend. Open. Back bend. Good, everyone. Uh-huh. Return. Two. One more time. Be gentle on that neck. Keep the front knee bending. Back leg stretching. Back bend. You got it. Return to vertical, hands down, Woo. back knee down, two knees down, have a seat, take a break as you need to. Now, this next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna be sitting on our feet, like I'm showing you here. This is not everyone's uh, cup of tea. Many people have a hard time with it for good reasons. I have a video posted right before this one about how to work on this pose, right? But for right now, if just being here doesn't work for you, have two towels and put one towel behind each knee. Just roll it up as evenly as you can. Or you can just use one towel as well, one big towel, and see if it helps you sit in this position. If that doesn't offer you enough support, it doesn't feel good to you, you don't like it, no likey, you can take some blocks behind you between your ankles as well. You can try sitting on them there, both with the towel and the blocks, or just the blocks without a towel if that's what you want. Both are fine, right? If neither of those work for you, I would recommend, if you want to, watch the video that precedes this to get that extensibility of the fibers from your, from your toenails all the way to the top of your foot, from your ankle, through your shin, up into your thigh, from your hip. That's what you need to work on specifically to make this posture more approachable for you, right? It's not impossible. It's not necessarily going to be for everyone. It doesn't mean that you're a bad person or that you're less than or inadequate if you just can never get there. But it's a good thing to work towards, right? Getting your foot to be in this position is a really nice thing. I've talked quite a lot. Now, 
Feel free to have your hands on blocks behind you. Again, the lower the blocks are, the more stable. The higher they are, the more supportive, but more unstable in terms of uh, balance. When you're ready, you're gonna breathe and drive the hips up. Push the floor with those arms and shoulder blades drawing together. Lean your chest back. And again, you guessed it, be kind to your neck. So look wherever feels best for your neck support and then return down, not just some extreme range of motion that you think you should be doing. Do what actually feels good. Your big toes, try not to touch behind you where you're sitting. Up and lean back, four. And then return, you want to have your feet in line with your knees as much as you can. I mean, you may cramp in one a bit, I get that, but try not to limit it as much as you can. Push, which will basically go to three. Action jump, and then return. Really good work there. Again, easy. Press the hips up. You can push your feet into the floor and drive the hips up to help you too. If you don't like that, don't do that. <laughs> easy. One more time. It does engage the front of that leg quite a bit. And that may be too much, too strong a feeling for you. Nothing wrong with that. Easy. Back bend. Uh-huh. Return. Now, this transition is tricky. I'm going to bring one foot forward. And forget. Yes, I know. I just popped out. It was toast from another. No big deal there for me. Feel free to bring your body over to the side to bring that foot forward. Feel free to get there any way you can. Hip pause if you need to. I'm moving on. Same thing otherwise. Hips press up. You lean back to push both feet against the floor if you can. Uh -huh. Specifically this front foot. Maybe not that back foot if it doesn't feel good to you. Again, push the floor away. Shoulders draw the other open. Extend forward. Good at all. And then return. Take your time. So much of many, many classes like this focus on the traditional plank where your arms are in front of you. Three. And don't do uh, the same amount of planks with your arms in different positions very deeply. That really biases your um, practice to a specific range of motion, too. And um, it de-emphasizes other ones. When really a plank all the way around, front and side and back, is really uh, helpful for so many people. Easy. Again, not for everyone. I'm not saying you should be able to do it at all costs, but it's something to think about. Now, I'm going to bring the same side arm as front foot forward, right? I'm breathing in. Very Egyptian. As you press your feet down, you're going to twist your body towards the same side of the room of the hand that's down and goes up and over. Keep the back of that front heel bone on the floor and then sit down to return. Great job. Okay, easy. Push the floor down. Stretch up and back bend. Glorious. Four. Great job, everyone. And then return. Nice work there. Again, push the floor down. Stretch up, reach, rotate. Beautiful. Three. You got it. And then return. Two more to go. Again, easy. Push, reach, drive, lengthen. Two. Accent job and then return take a break make sure your joints are comfortable joints comfortable you might feel your thigh which is not a joint your thigh is between two joints but take a break if that's too much for you easy switch your hands legs stay where they are legs don't move other arm forward move the other way push up lean twist away stretch and lengthen five great job gently slowly return we're reading in again exhale push drive lengthen four be kind to your knees and gently return, make sure they're not dying here. Your thigh might be dying. You can make decisions about that. Make sure your knee is not dying. Knee dying is not the goal. Three, thigh feelings. I'm okay with that as long as it's not too much and you can't wait for it to be over. If you're dying, wanting it to be over, that means it's too much. Take a break, breathe deeply. Two, no shame, no shame in taking a break. One more time, return. Again, easy, push, drive up. Push the floor down that standing arm. Now, here comes another tricky transition. Feel free to do whatever works for you. I'm going to walk my hands forward. You may not like that. Feel free to detangle yourself and then come into this position where one foot is from forward, next to the knee, other foot back, curl the back toes under. Use your blocks here, you're gonna want them. Stretch both knees here, press the heels to the floor, straighten the front knee, back knee, draping your body over both legs. Stay here. Now keeping the back of your heel bones on the floor. Back of the heel bones on the floor, give your knees a bend. And then a stretch. Now, as you bend your knees, keep the very back of the back heel bone on the floor. That may mean that knee cannot bend at all, and that's okay. Acknowledge that. Four, no big deal. Keep those heel bones on the floor, the very back of them, at all costs. Great bang. And stretch. Three, two more, everyone. Great job. Again, easy. Bend. Great. Stretch. Folding over your legs, too. Really good job. Bend. Very nice work, everyone. Control. And straight, really great job. Now give your knees a bend and just switch your legs. Take a break if you need to. All right, they've just switched positions. And then stretch your legs here. Same goal, same rules. Bend the knees only as far as the back of both heel bones. Stay glued to the floor. You got it. And then stretch your legs. Five, great. Again, bend, be gentle. Mm -hmm. 
and stretch for excellent work everyone again bend be kind to yourself and stretch three really great job there bend easy control nice and stretch fold over those legs to relax your toes bend really good job and stretch here's another trick in transition you're going to pick up the back foot if you can and bring the foot further behind you and then bring that knee to the floor then scooch that knee forward if you can right if not we're just going to come to the opposite position so the new foot is forward other foot is back we're doing the other side from this egyptian position right get there as best you can and make sure you feel comfortable to your joints specifically feel free to hit pause use blocks use towels whatever works for you here we go i'm going out i'm moving on you got it press the hips up and lean back push with the arms over so we see a little behind you push that front foot down strongly and then return keep the back of the front hip on the floor push it down push both feet down if you want to but specifically that front foot's going to help you clunk forward four and then return be gentle again push down drive up open expand three great everyone uh-huh and then return be kind to yourself again easy push drive open and extend two you got it and then return be good to yourself one more time easy push drive open and extend really good work there return now the same side hand as that front foot comes forward so you're shifting over that other leg hips go up and over you twist your body towards the same side of the room of the hand that's down on the floor facing in that direction you got it kind of the only way you can face so you can't really face the other way again easy <laughs> stretch up and over let your head and neck go with you four push the floor away from you keep this bottom shoulder away from there as much as you can as you descend all these things again who can think about dinner we got so many joints to control easy or breakfast or lunch whatever meals next easy gotta release those things your mind if you can again focus on now push drive stretch up and over to enjoy breathing and return keep breathing one more time doing really well again easy push drive up over expand joyfully you got it return now two hands go behind you and then bring the other arm forward legs have not changed go the other way push easy stretch and back bend good everyone slowly bring it down to return reach on there again easy push the floor down reach up and away from you for turn to face that side of the room you got it control this in just three more here you can make it happen again easy You're doing really well breaks are great stretch three you got it inhale to return down two more to go there again easy breathe drop stress lengthen two mm -hmm. and then root serve one more time again easy breathe strive reach up over twisting back bending side bend bit of everything there and then return here is that transition that you may not like i'm going to walk my hands forward you may need to walk over to the side to come forward that's fine curl the back toes under stretch both knees here heels to the floor hip pause joining when you're ready folding over your straight knees keep the hips as square as possible keeping the back of the heel bones on the floor give your knees a bend that's right and then stretch five good keep the back of the heel bone on the ground give a bend you got it and then stretch four fantastic easy bend back of the heel bones on the ground and then stretch three really good everyone take your time bend beautiful great work there and stretch two head heavy look towards your thigh bones chin to chest a bit let the back of your neck release and stretch nice give your knees a bend and then switch legs so just switch positions and then stretch your legs here oh let those elbows be bent be draping over your legs blocks on the highest levels can be assisted bend and stretch five good one take your time again easy bend gentle and stretch forward draping over that front knee look at your thigh bones keep the back of the heel bone on the ground the whole time and stretch three great everyone just two more bend very nice job and stretch two uh-huh one more time bend really good job and stretch excellent work bend and again pick the back foot up bring the back knee down two knees down and rest take any kind of break that you need to water is always nice right i'm going to move on join me when you're ready bring one foot forward here again i know we keep finding ourselves in this position mm -hmm. curl the back toes under straighten the back leg long easy really great job and again all we're going to do is straighten the front leg and fold like we just practiced a lot i wonder why and then bend the front knee forward 
lengthen through the crown of your head. Again, stretch the front leg, fold over, breathe deeply, four, nice everyone. And then bend, really good job. Again, stretch that front leg, take your time folding over gently, three, you got it. And then bend, excellent. Again, stretching over, two, and you got it. And then bend, reach for the crown of your head one more time, breathing. Blocks on the highest levels, most of the system, bend the elbows, folding over. And then return, keep it bent. Twist your chest up, arch your spine like we did earlier. You got it, and fold all the way and down. Just repeating this a bit. Again, easy. Twist up, try not to lean back so far that you're no longer over the mat. Breathe deeply and fold forward. Take your time. Twist your chest more than neck and chin. Bend the front, you stretch the back leg. And fold, three, two more. Again, easy. Twist, rotate, spiral. You got it. And then fold. We're gonna hold the next twist. Be kind to your neck. Twist, stay in the twist. Straighten the front knee in the twist. You're welcome. Keep arching your spine. Keep the twist as you bend the front knee. Just keep that twist. Stretch the front leg, keep the twist. You got it, and bend it. Four, good work there. Again, stretch, be kind to your neck. Looking to the ceiling is aggressive. Three, intense, overly intense, easy. AKA, kind of dangerous. Three, deeply, two. Not a good lifelong practice, easy. And then bend, over too soon. Two hands down, stay. Now this back leg. I hop that back leg to the outside of the same side of the mat. So it's my left leg back for me. I'm gonna hop that foot over to the left side of the mat more. Maybe your right leg is back, you'd hop to the right. Gonna rotate that whole foot down to the mat, right? Feel free to adjust it and bend the front knee deeply. Now really try and get the outer edge of that foot to the floor. Hips will be twisted quite a bit. And then stretch the front knee. Yeah. And then bend and lengthen. Such a good feeling. Again, stretch the front leg gently. Breathe deeply for good everyone. Nice. Then bend forward and lengthen. You got it. Again, exhale, stretch that front leg. Three. Excellent work. Bend it forward and lengthen. Easy. Two more. Again, exhale, folding over kindly. Two. Bending forward, reach to the crown of your head one more time. Exhale, fold. Really good job. Bend. Now keep the front knee bent. Now it's the opposite hand of front leg. Same side as back leg. Twist away towards the back leg or away from the front leg. Rotate your torso. Let your heart lift your arm more than neck and chin. And then fold all the way down. That should be a very familiar phrase by the end of this class today. Again, twist your chest up. Be kind to your neck. Breathe deeply and fold all the way down. So where your eyes go really does matter. It affects a lot of things. You know, that means where your mind goes. Twist your torso, not just your neck. Breathe deeply. All the way over. Three, take your time. Legs just stay. Relax those front toes as much as you can. Mm -hmm. We're gonna hold the next twist. Much to your joy. One more time. Twist up, now hold the twist. Straighten the front knee in the twist. You got it. And bend it. Five, great job. Stretch, beautiful. And bend four. Excellent job there, stretch. Nice, and bend three, keep twisting your chest more than neck. Stretch, you got it, and bend two. One more time, stretch, great job. Mm -hmm. Bend, untwist, two hands down. Now pick up that back heel, rotate that back knee parallel, bend the back knee down, two knees down, rest as you need to, hit pause, switch legs when you're ready, I'm moving on. Stretch your back leg, front knee bent. Stretch your front leg, fold over gently, the elbows bend, your body drapes over that front knee, back heel towards the floor. Bend the front knee, reach out to the crown of your head, inhale. Again, exhale, stretch and fold. Take your time for Nice, everyone. Bend and lengthen forward. You got it. Again, stretch that front leg, fold all the way over there. Three, beautiful. Bend and lengthen forward. Two more there. Again, easy. Fold and dive over that front leg, two. You got it. Bend and lengthen forward. More time. Again, easy. Fold and stretch. Such a good feeling. You got it. Bend it forward. Now keep the front knee bent. Same side arm as front bent knee. Twist your torso towards the front bent knee. Let your heart lift your arm, not your neck and chin. And dive all the way down. So don't just look to the ceiling. Twist your chest. Look away from the ceiling and twist your body. Keep the front knee bent. Back leg straight. And then fold down four. Great job. Easy. Twist, open, rotate, spiral, expand. Bend the front knee. Stretch that back leg. Fold all the way over and down. Three. Two more. Great job. Again, easy. Twist up, stretch up, rotate. Great, everyone. And fold it down to, we're gonna hold the next one, here we go. Twist up, stay up, now straighten the front leg, ah, oh, arching that backbone, and bend it. Good job, again, keep twisting, stretch the front leg, four, and bend, great job, again, stretch, three, beautiful. And bend, reach that back heel towards the floor, stretch, excellent job, two. And bend, one more time, again, stretch, great, yeah. And bend, two hands down, great job. Now, that back foot, 
hop it over to the same side of the mat. So my right foot is back. I hop that foot more over to the right. And I'm gonna rotate that whole foot down. And then stretch the front leg here again. Whee! Very nice, drifting over the front leg. Bend the front knee, reach out the crown of your head, inhale. Great job. Again, stretch and fold gently, four. Very nice job. Then bend forward to return, really great. Again, stretch and fold, three. Really great job there. Bend forward and lengthen, two more. Again, exhale, easy, breathe, two, you got it. Forward and lengthen, one more time. Stretch, exhale, folding over the front, straighten knee. Bend, and I keep it bent, the opposite arm of front leg, same side arm as back leg, twist away from the front leg towards the back leg side, twisting, and then return. So my chest opens up to face away from that front bent knee, arching your spine less than your neck. I'm sorry, neck less than your spine, four. Twist and arch your backbone more than your neck. Your neck is part of your backbone, I get it. Breathe deeply, slow, but you know what I mean. Three, take your time. Again, easy. Twist up, stretch up, arching that spine. You got it. Return, we're gonna hold the next one. Much to our jaw, here we go. Inhale, twist up, stay up, stay. Straighten that front leg, keep the twist. Keep the twist, bend the front, you don't, you got it. Again, stretch, keep twisting and arching your spine. Or be kind to your neck, and bend. Really good job there. Stretch, control, beautiful. And bend, three, two more there. Again, stretch, lengthen. Great job, and bend, two. One more time, keep arching and twisting. You got it. So nice. Bend, two hands down. Back heel up, back knee parallel. Back knee bends down, two knees down. Rest as you need to. I'm moving on. Hit pause, do my winner ready. Coming into a nice plank position here. Now, tailbone lifts up, pike and stretch. So here, if you've been using towels under your hands or on the floor, it's gonna be hard in this position to gain enough Support, easy, then return forward. Easy, yield the blocks on their lowest level are supportive but slippery and therefore dangerous. Breathe deeply, floor, take your time, and then return forward. You can use like a handle on the floor that doesn't slip, something you can put your hand around to take the pressure off your wrist. Three, that's a great option, but not many people have access to that, and then return forward. As you press your heels down, chest towards thighs, tip on towards the sky, eyes towards shin, two. Then return forward, look between your hands if you can. One more time. Again, easy. Pike, press, stretch, lengthen. Good, everyone. Return forward. Okay, here we go. Pike, press, easy. Now, you can move one foot more center between the two. Lift the other leg up. You can twist your body towards the leg that rises. Now, you're gonna try to bring that foot between your hands. You can lift up the same side hand of that foot to bring it forward. All right, if that didn't work for you, just bring your back knee down and then hop, hop, hop that front foot forward. And then just straighten your back leg, and you're there. To come out of there, it's the same thing. You're gonna pick up the same side hand of that front foot off the floor, and then hop that foot back to the other one and return to your plank, then pike up and stretch. Easy. Other leg lifts, move the other foot a bit towards the middle, twist your body towards the leg that rises, pushing the standing heel down, you got it. And again, pick up the same side hand as that foot in the air, and bring that foot forward. You got it. Again, you can always put the back knee down and hop the back foot forward, then straighten the back leg. Mm -hmm. You do the same thing to reverse. Back knee down to hop that back front foot back into the plank. Pike and stretch. Take your time. We're just doing this to practice. Other leg up. This is an aggressive thing to do. Feel free to modify as you need to. Breathe deeply. Great job there. Uh-huh. Return to the plank. Pike and stretch up. Again. Other leg up, 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 twisting. You got it. Bring that foot between your hands. Pick up the same side hand as foot. It will help you, right? And then pick up the same side hand to return that foot to a plank. Two more. Pike and stretch. Lift that foot. Twist the hips a bit. Up, 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 up. Good job. Foot between hands. Easy. Take your time. If I'm going too quick, take a slower tempo, but try not to go bigger than I am. And then pike and stretch. Easy. Again, leg. Up, 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 up. You can twist a bit. Pick up the same side hand to help you bring it forward. Great job there. Mm -hmm. And then pick it up to return. Let's do two more, I think. I can stretch. I was gonna say two more for the rest of my life. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> like Sisyphus, Sisyphus in the boulder, bring it forward. And I think it's Sisyphus. Is it Sisyphus? It's not Prometheus, that's fire. Sisyphus in the boulder, pushing the boulder ever up the side of the mountain. Pike up and stretch. You got another leg up. Twist, 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 twist. Great job, be gentle to your neck. Pull that foot forward. You got it. 
Great work there. You got it. And then return. We're going to add on much to your joint. Lift that leg up. Easy breathe. Mm -hmm. Bring it forward. Now, chest up, arms up. From here, bring that back knee up to your chest. Stand tall. Take your time. Mm -hmm. Bend that front knee to return to that big lunge stance. Great. Hands come down. Plank. Pike up and stretch. Other leg up high to the sky. Really good job. One motion. Bring that foot up between your hands. Chest up. Arms up. Front knee is bent. Back leg straight. Hips and shoulders as square as you can. Great job. Hands come down. Pick up the same right hand to help you. Plank. Pike and stretch. Four more. Lift. Let your body twist. Reach. Bring it forward. Easy breathe. Chest up. Arms up. Lots of balance. You're welcome. Take your time. You got it. Breathing. Hands come down. Plank. Pike up. Stretch. Other leg up. Stretch up. Twist up. Reaching. Good. One foot between your hands. Great. Chest up. Arms up. Take your time. Great job. Bring the hands down. Yeah, pick up the same hand to help you. Plank. Two more to go. Great job. Twisting. Reach. Rotate. Great. Foot between hands. Nice job. Chest up. Arms up. Reach. Very good job. Two hands down. <laughs> Plank. Pike and stretch. Good work. Leg up. Twisting. Easy. Bring it between your hands. Really good job. Chest up. Arms up. Reaching. Relax your shoulders. You got it. Two hands down. Adding off. Return. Pike. Your favorite word ever. Adding on. Same thing to start. Lift up. Reach. Uh huh. Pull it between. Chest up. Arms up. Great. Now, be kind to yourself. The opposite hand of the front bent knee comes to the floor next to that front foot. Adjust the back foot as you need to. You're going to try and hop, hop, hop this front foot back to a side plank. And then full plank. You did it. Pike up and stretch. Other leg up. Twist, stretch, reach. Foot between hands. Chest up. Arms up. Great. Push the front foot down. Bring that back knee up to your chest. Feel free to take a couple hops with that back foot to come up. That's fine. Bend your front knee. Reach that leg behind you to that big lunge. Here we go. Opposite hand of that front bent knee comes to the floor. You twist towards that thigh. Adjust that back leg as you need to. It doesn't have to stay in the same place. You can hop that back foot, front foot, to the back foot, to a side plank. You got it. Return. Great job. Pike up and stretch. Beautiful work there. Easy. Leg up, twisting, stretch. Bring it between. You got it. Chest up, arms up to the lunge. Beautiful. Push the front foot down. Hop that back foot if you need to. Bring that knee up to your chest, relaxing your shoulders. Great job. Bend the front knee. Return to that lunge. Great. Hand, oh, sorry, opposite hand of front leg. Almost, almost screwed up there. Twisting, twisting, twisting. Hop your front foot back to the back foot. Side plank. You got it. And then return. Pike up and stretch. Really great. Other leg up. Twisting, stretch. Great. Bring that foot between your hands. Chest up, arms up. It's never ending. Again, push the front foot down. Bring that back knee up toward your chest. Stand tall, relaxing your shoulders. Nice, calm, happy thoughts. Bend that front knee. Return to that big lunge. Opposite arm of front bent knee down, twisting towards that front leg. Hop your front foot back into the side plank. Two hands down. Two more to go. Pike up and stretch. I promise, just two more. <laughs> I'm not going to add up. Lift the leg up. There's no more after this. Easy. Good to know, huh? Bring that foot between your hands. Chest up, arms up, stretch. Push the front leg down. Bring that back knee up to your chest. Stand tall, relaxing your shoulders. Great job. Bend the front knee, return to that big lunge. Opposite arm of the front, bent knee, comes to the floor, twisting. Uh huh. Hop that front foot back. Side plank, you got it. Full plank, nice. Pike up and stretch. Last one, you're really good job. Leg up, twisting, stretch. I know it's very sad. Bring that foot between your hands. Great job. Chest up, arms up. Great. Mm -hmm. Push the front foot down. Bring that back knee up to your chest. Stand tall. Really great job. 
Nice. Bend the front knee. Reach back to that lunge. Glorious. Opposite arm of front bent knee to the floor. Twisting. Take your time. Hop that front foot back. Side plank. Full plank. Face the floor. Hips up. I can stretch. Walk your feet up towards your hands. Use your blocks here to help you get some support. Right? Let your elbows bend. Try not to push your body away from the floor. Let the elbows be bent, but they just have some support there. Some is better than none. Uh -huh. If you're just dangling, that's really intense and not the goal. Some support with a bending elbow to allow your body to creep forward as far as you want to go. Now, stay hungover. Give your knees a little bend. Keep the heel bones down. And then stretch your legs five. Great job. Little bend. Easy. Very good. And stretch four. Glorious. Little bend, nice everyone. And stretch, three, two more. A little bend, great. And stretch, two, one more. A little bend, mm -hmm. stretch. Now bend your knees, take your time, chin the chest, push the floor down, round your spine, slowly roll all the way up. Nice and tall, head is heavy, shoulders wide, eyes come level last. Reach your arms out and up. Interlace your fingers, palms to the sky. Now. All you're gonna do, you're gonna bend to the side, stretch, be kind to yourself, stretch those elbows, make a croissant shape, and bring it back center. Now go the other way, stretch, lengthen, let those hips go, stretch the arms in the opposition, eyes away from the floor, facing forward, up tall. Now give your knees a bend. As you twist, keep the back of the heel bones on the floor, both of them, straighten to return, breathing in. Give your knees a bend, rotate around. Great job. Big breath in, straight and return. Press the palms down, press the ether down, push the floor down, reach out to the crown of your head, shoulders wide, ready for whatever is next in front of you. Yay! Excellent job. Congratulations. So that was nice and refreshing. Hopefully not too far out of um, what you are able to do. Some things are really challenging, I understand. Specifically being on your knees with your feet behind you is aggressive for a lot of people. So I understand that's not gonna be appealing, but you can work up to it. Look at the video I did before this. It's something that can be achievable, though again, not everyone is meant to do all these positions, right? We're not all robots, we're built differently, we have different needs. So honor that, but you can have these practices that work towards these postures, nothing wrong with that. You just may, the biggest posture may not be what works best for you now or in the future, doesn't mean you can't work in that sphere of capacity of practicing that. Talked a lot. My name is Eric. This is Nucleus Strength. I look forward to getting stronger with you in the future. You always in good health. Take care.